when the European came over here, he saw nothing but wilderness. To the Indian people, this was home, not wilderness. But to the European, this was wilderness. Everything was wild. The people were wild. The animals were wild. Not so. It's a lack of understanding. These people come over with their fables about Little Red Riding Hood. I don't believe them. I believe my own stories. I believe what I've been told when I was a little kid. I believe them stories. And also, I believe these things with caution in every way, no matter what I hear or what I see. But I remember when I was a little kid, they told me, the male elders, don't ever speak your language around the Chumukban Shuk. That's what we call the white people, Chumukban Shuk. Because if you do, they're going to take you away. So I never did that. The wolf speaks his language. The old time Indian could understand that language. And the, the European, the white man that's living here now, he don't understand that language that the wolf has. The Ojibwe does. And that's why when I see them out in the woods, Nikanas, I talk to them in Indian. They're my brothers in the faith. Now they want to kill them. For what? Because Minnesota and Wisconsin doing it? Is that monkey see, monkey do legislation that they're proposing? And there's no value in life anymore, it seems. To the Ojibwe, the wolf is a spiritual being. He is wise. He's our teacher. And now they want to kill that too. They took everything. When they come over here, they were satisfied to live in on the eastern part of this country, this land. But that was not enough. They wanted more, so they took the land. They took all the land. And then they took our children, our culture, our language. And now that the wolf come back, they want to take that back too. You have to understand that the wolf we're seeing now is not the wolf that was here when the Ojibwe was in their heyday here. And that was a timber, timber wolf. And these are the gray wolves that you see here now. But they don't even want the gray wolves. For what purpose? Trophies? To make more money for the DNR? Is that what this is all about? How come they never consulted me? I come from a family of chiefs. The last living chief at Chicago Lake, what we call Ganami Guzkog. That was my grandma's uncle. He was chief there. So I speak with that representation. Did they come and consult me about all this stuff here? Did uh, Mr. Hokey, did Mr. Kasperson come to talk to me about this? No. I feel slighted. This is not the way it should be. In the old days when Indian had a, a certain condition or a problem they wanted to talk about, they consulted with everybody. These people, they do not do that. Like I say, when I was a little kid, they said, if you talk Indian in front of those people, they're going to come and take you away. Yeah. Now, I don't care anymore. They don't want me no more now. <laughs> but I talk my language. I know my culture. And I know one thing, too. I know the white man's culture. 
Where is his respect to come and talk to peop Indian people about this stuff? No, they don't do that. This Miss Casperson says, and the wolves are coming right into, come into Arnwood. The West, West, Western UP is suffering. That's suffering? Huh. My people suffered. We have our Holocaust. They never figured that though. They took everything, our land, our children, our language, our culture, and now what little we have left, they want to take that too. I stand up for the wolf because he's my brother. He's my brother in the faith. What kind of faith did these people here have tonight? They make a, a meeting, they don't even show up. What kind of weather this? This weather here, by this time of this year, Houghton should have a foot of snow on the ground, maybe two feet. How much is out there now? I got my best shoes on. That's how bad the weather is. And you people that sitting here, you come too. Not only have faith in what we're trying to do here, but you have faith in yourself. You know, the Indian people have made a lot of treaties with these people. And you know what? These people have broken every treaty. And they've broken their promise to come here tonight and talk about things. They wanted to take questions from the audience. And they're not even here to take questions. Is this any different today than from what was 100 years ago? <laughs> 